Dear students, my name is Ainu Ispolova. I am PhD and Associate Professor of Managing Marketing Department of Muhtar Awezov South Kazakhstan University. A discipline of considering today is, uh, will be marketing research. And uh, <coughs> A uh, theme of today, which we consider today, will be introduction to marketing research. And plan will be consist definition of marketing research and classification of it. And uh, according to Philip Kotler, marketing research is a systematic problem analysis, uh, model building and fact finding for the purpose of improved decision making and control in the marketing of goods and services. And also we can say that marketing research is defined as any technique or set of practices that companies use to collect information to understand their target market better. Marketing research is used to determine what the customer wants and how they react to product or features of a product. And here just we consider that the primary purpose of marketing research is to provide valuable insights that help businesses understand their market environment, identify opportunities and challenges, and make informed decisions to enhance their competitive advantage. And here just uh, uh, we should just consider the importance of marketing research. Uh, you know that uh, it helps to understand consumer needs and wants, aids in, in identifying market opportunities, and support marketing strategy development and enhances competitiveness. Here we should consider the task of marketing research. It will be just marketing research encompasses a variety of tasks aimed at gathering, analyzing and interpreting data. Key task includes the first one is to define the research problem and here just uh, it means it's clearly identify the issue or opportunity that requires investigation. And second is to formulate research objectives and questions. And here just we should consider a second task. It will be just developing the research plan, which includes its determining the research design, exploratory, descriptive, or causal. And is second one is uh, choose data collection methods, for example, qualitative, quantitative, or mixed methods. And of course, it's select a sample and sampling techniques. And uh, we continue just to... Uh, uh, discuss about its uh, uh, task of marketing research. It will be just uh, data analysis. Uh, it means it's organized and clean the collected data for analysis, use statistical tools and techniques to analyze quantitative data. Employee content analysis and um, uh, thematic analysis for qualitative data. And fourth task, it will be just interpreting and uh, Reporting findings, uh, it means it's interpret the analyzed data to derive a meaningful insights, prepare a comprehensive report that present findings in a clear and concise manner. And uh, um, next one, it will be use visual aids like charts, graphs and tables to enhance understandings. Uh, Fifth task, it will be just uh, making a recommendation which is based on the research findings, provide actionable recommendation to address the research problem and suggest strategies for marketing product development, customer service and other business function. Here we should consider that the key components of marketing research. Market research typically involves several key components that contribute to the comprehensive understanding of the market and its dynamics. This component includes uh, 11 steps. First one is the marketing segmentation, second one data collection, research design, qualitative research, quantitative research, competitive analysis, consumer behavior analysis, and the market size and forecasting. Also data analysis, of course, and the reporting and presentation. And last one it will be marketing segmentation. And here just we uh, consider types of marketing research. Uh, primary research is original data collected for a specific purpose. Secondary research, it, it means it's existing data collected for another purpose. Quantitative research, it's numerical data and statistical analysis. Uh, qualitative research, it's uh, non-numerical data such as opinions and motivations. Uh, we should that's, uh, um, here we learn about the classification of marketing research. Uh, marketing research can be broadly classified that into various categories based on different criteria, such as the purpose of the research, the data collection methods, and the nature of the data. Here are some key classification. 
and um, based on purpose. First one, exploratory research. As I mentioned before, it means it's objective to explore a problem or a situation when there are few or no early studies to refer to. Methods, it will be qualitative methods like interview, focus group and literature review. An outcome of exploratory research will be provides insights and understanding, helping to defi define the problem and formulate hypotheses. Uh, next one, it will be descriptive research. Objective will be to de describe characteristic of population or phenomena. Method, it will be a service observational study and case study. An outcome provides data and information about the what, uh, when, where and how aspects, but not the why. And uh, next, it will be cl uh, classification uh, causal research. Objective to identify cause and effect relationship between variables. Method it will be experiment, including field and laboratory experiments. And outcome of this um, causal research will be uh, help to help to in understanding the impact of one variable on another, establishing causality. An ethical consideration in marketing research, it will be informed consent, privacy and confidentiality, avoiding bias and um, manipulation, uh, ethical reporting. An advantage of marketing research, it will be just informed decision making, which includes marketing research, provides data and insights that help businesses make informed decisions, reducing uncertainty and risk. Understanding consumer needs, uh, it helps uh, in understanding consumer preference, needs and behavior, enabling companies to tailor their products and services accordingly. And third one, it will be identifying market opportunities. It means that uh, research can uncover new market opportunities, helping businesses to innovate and stay ahead of competitors. And um, Next, it will be uh, improving communication. But it means its insight from marketing research can improve the effectiveness of marketing communication. Uh, next one, it will be competitive advantage. By understanding market trend and consumer behavior, businesses can gain a competitive edge over rivals. And um, um, optimizing marketing strategy, its marketing research helps in evaluating the effective of current marketing strategies and make a necessary adjustment for better outcomes. And of course, it's a resource allocation. It aids in efficient allocation of resources by identifying the most profitable market segments and channels. And the customer satisfaction and loyalty, it means it's by addressing customer needs and preference, companies can enhance customer satisfaction and loyalty. And um, we should that to consider disadvantage of marketing research. It means that the um, first one is the cost, time consuming, complexity. If we con um, uh, consider in particular, we can see that the cost, it means that the conducting comprehensive marketing research can be expensive, especially for small businesses with limited budget. Time consuming, it means that marketing research can be time consuming, which may delay decision making and implementation of strategies. Complexity, it means that designing and conducting effective marketing research requires specialized skills and expertise, which may not be readily, you know, just available. And here, just the uh, data quality issues, it's uh, re uh, the reliability and accuracy of the data collected can be questionable if the research methodology is flawed or if there is bias in data collection. And um, changing market dynamics, it means that uh, market conditions can change rapidly, making some research findings absolute by the time they are implemented. And of course, it's a limited scope. It means that research often focus on specific areas which may not provide a comprehensive view of the market or consumer behavior. And of course, it's a misinterpretation of data. It means it's an incorrect interpretation of data can lead to misguided you know, decision and strategies in a whole. And a responded bias, it means it's a validity of the research um, can be compromised by responded bias, where a participant provides socially desirable answer instead of truthful responses. And uh, you know that here just improving marketing research involves several key steps. First one is define clear objectives. And second one is multiple research methods. And define clear objectives, it means it's identify what you aim to achieve with your research. And of course, it determines, it's a, well, I'm sorry, determines the key, the question you need to answer to meet your objectives. 
use multiple research methods. It includes survey questionnaires and statistical analysis can provide numerical data that's easy to analyze and interpret. And of course, its interviews, focus group and observational research can provide deeper insight into consumer behavior and motivations. And here just segment your audience. It means it defines and segment your audience based on demographic uh, behavior and needs. And of course, it's a tailor your research methods and question to each segment for more accurate and relevant data. Next one, it will be the average system technology. It's a use advanced anal analytics tools uh, to process and analyze large sets of data efficiently. And ensure data quality, it means it's use reliable data collection methods and ensure the sample size is large and representative. And uh, analyze competitors, it means it's compare your findings with competitors' data to identify trends and study competitors' strategy, market positioning and customer feedback. And the last one, it will be utilize, um, or I, mean, I mean just utilize social media and online platforms. And next one, it will be implement continuous feedback loops. And the ninth, it will be just uh, stay ethical and compliant. You, it means it's uh, ensure your research methods uh, comply with ethical standards and respect participant privacy. And of course, it's a state updated with data protection regulation to ensure compliance. And of course, it's a future trend in markets and research. Use of big data and AI, I mean just artificial inter intelligence, increase focus and in real-time data, growth of mobile and online research, emphasize on customer experience, and um, a regular update research. It means it's a continuous improvement, interactive process. And of course, it's, uh, we conclude it's our today's theme. It will be just in conclusion, markets and research is an essential discipline that provides businesses with critical insight into, into consumer behavior, market trends, and competitive landscapes by systematically collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data. Market and research enables organizations to make informed decisions, reduce risk, and identify opportunities for growth. Throughout this representation, we have explored the various aspects of marketing research, including its purpose, importance, and different types. As we wrap up, and remember that marketing research is not a one-time activity, but uh, an ongoing process that should be integrated into your overall business strategy. Continually seeking and analyzing data will help you stay ahead of marketing trends, better serve your customers, and drive long-term success. Thank you so much for your attention.